Hi, this is Greg from Business Automated and today I will show you how to upload invoices from Xero directly into your Airtable. Let's get going. So the first step will be to create a new scenario in make.com and this is the tool we will be using for uploading the scenarios and this is what I mostly use for automating the workflows. So we're going to start with a Xero module and we're going to use watch invoices. This module fires every time you create a new invoice or update an old invoice. Once you connect to Xero, you need to select your organization here. And from this moment, you can select from now on. From now on, this module will watch any changes to the invoices. So let's go back to our test invoice here. And here, this is a pending invoice. We will edit some of the details on the invoice. So let's change the quantity to five. And now when we start this module, you will see that the invoice was updated and we have received the data of this invoice here from zero. So now the next step would be to download a PDF. We want to upload this PDF directly to our Airtable. So what we will need to do is First, select the organization. And here, as an invoice ID, we'll use the invoice ID from the previous stage. OK, so we can run once and edit the invoice again to see that it works. Or we can change here and say, choose where to start. So in this case, we'll choose manually. And here you can see all the events that have happened until now. So let's reuse the latest event over here. OK, and now when we run once, you will see that this module will return us a PDF. But unfortunately, this PDF is returned as a file, as a sort of data buffer, which we cannot use directly to upload this information in, into Airtable, because to upload information here into Airtable, we need to have a upload link. So we need to have a URL without an authentication. Uh, so this normally you would have to download this file and upload somewhere and share that link, like for example, Google Drive, but that also ca is causing troubles recently. So here I'll show you a workaround where you can basically create a URL endpoint that returns link to a PDF file. So. Now let's change and start working on the second scenario that will be needed here. All right, so now we will create a new scenario that will give us a link that will allow us to download those files for Airtable. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with a webhook. First, we're gonna do a custom webhook. All right, so here we have a custom webhook to download an invoice. And what we're going to do, we are going to upload it here. And here we're going to add a question mark and invoice invoice ID equals any number for now. You see this has been accepted. So now we have determined the data structure that will be coming into this webhook. So the next stage will be actually to download this invoice from here. So we're going to shift and right click, copy this module, paste this module into this scenario. And the trick that we will do here, we will actually pass the invoice ID to the webhook and the webhook will download the file and return it back as a link. So this will change into a link. I'll show this to you in a second if this is confusing. So basically now you can see that this webhook returns us an invoice ID. So once this is downloaded here, we'll ask Integromat to basically respond with this back to us. And as the body of this, um, this request, we will use data and we'll add advanced settings and the advanced settings will be content type. And the content type will be application slash PDF. All right, so we are literally returning uh, this file back. Okay, so let's click 
run once on this scenario so now it's activating and actively listening to this webhook and what we are going to do is instead of this random ID we will put the actual ID of this invoice and you can see the ID of any invoice directly from the URL in zero so this we will just use for a test and invoice ID equals this invoice and you can see that the webhook has responded with a file so we have basically downloaded the file but right now this is an unauthenticated webhook that allows you to download any invoice based on the number of the invoice and again this is unauthenticated so anyone that will have access to this uh, url can download this means also airtable can download it the identifier used by um, zero here is a unique identifier that is um, impossible to recreate so it's someone would have to know exactly this this number so i would not be concerned about that part okay now let's move back here so now how are we going to upload those those files into Airtable. So the next module will be basically Airtable. We'll use Absert a record so that we can create a new or update existing record. Here we need record ID, so we will just add one more step, which will be search. And by the way, this module we can already delete. So now we will do a search, and because our unique key will be the invoice ID, so what we will do here will be a search for the invoice ID. I am typing here the name of the column, exact name of the column. So just if you have any errors, make sure that this is exact. And here I'm adding two quotation marks because this is a text. And in between, I'll put the invoice, invoice ID and we expect one to be returned. So in this module, we will have two options. If there is a record ID from the previous step, then we will use it. If not, it will return zero. The previous step is not showing up here yet. So let's just run this model once. Okay, so now our table knows what sort of data is visible here. Oh, sorry, you can see ID is here. Okay, so if the ID exists, we will update the record if the id does not exist we will create a new one and the new one record would consist out of invoice number invoice id and here as an invoice what we are going to do we are going to use a file url which will be exactly this url over here and right now instead of hard-coded invoice number we will use the invoice number here okay so let's save it and let's test it. This was executed, but I have forgotten to turn on this scenario. So actually nothing will, will happen. I have deleted the queue because that was not relevant. You can see that the record was created, but actually there was no, no file returned. So there is an error but you will see that this will get updated very, very quickly. So let's redo this one more time. And let's do one more trick here to basically um, fix the caching issue because the invoice was not updated because of the something called cache. So here we will just add end ff random parameter that is not used just to refresh the cache this is not really necessary but because i was just using this recently that's why that one has needs to be updated so let's run more time run once okay so this has requested that invoice one more time and here you can see the invoice correctly updated all right so this is the way how you can update invoices and i will show you now that actually if we select choose where to start and we select a older date you will see multiple invoices being uploaded so for example let's start here and let's press run once 
you can see multiple invoices being updated and created over here. So you can see they're being all added here. All right, I hope this video was useful for you and uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys. Peace.